Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday the 11th of April 2015. This is another episode of the Crow Debunkery Project. We will be taking another look at the so-called lunar wave and looking at the evidence to see if we can find what is causing them. Is it really a glitch in the moon hologram as claimed by Crow, or could there possibly be another explanation? But first of all, I've got some breaking news. I've been sent a spectacular clip of the lunar wave, the glitch in the moon hologram, as seen from Zurich, Switzerland in 2014. And we're going to take a look at that clip right now. I've slowed this clip down by half speed. We can see the ordinary type of atmospheric disturbance, plus we can also see the spectacular lunar wave. This is by far the best lunar wave footage that I've seen to date. It is clear that there has been a serious glitch in the lunar hologram, as we can see in this video. Let's watch this clip through one more time. The ruling elite obviously have problems with their hologram technology. This is clearly undeniable proof of the lunar wave hologram discovered by Crow 777. This can no longer be doubted by anyone at all, or can it? Let's take another look, shall we? Yes, yet again we see another so-called lunar hologram wave being created by the wake of an aircraft passing by. This video clip was kindly sent me by YouTuber Crosswind. Thank you Crosswind. You can check this clip for yourself in Crosswind's video Lunar Waves and Plane in Front of the Moon at Airport Zurich, September-October 2014. Crosswind also sent me the following clip, which was in my previous video. Let's watch that clip again at half speed and zoomed up. And what do we see? A nice, clear, sharp lunar wave moving from left to right. Some people have protested that we only see one wave in this clip instead of two, as we see in some of Crow's videos but they seem to forget that this video clip is only 5 seconds long and was part of a longer compilation that was heavily edited. Crosswind has sent me the original clip and I've slowed it down half speed which is why it is now 10 seconds long. Here is the original 5 second clip that Crosswind sent me. And again you can find this original clip in Crosswind's video Planes Crossing the Moon and Sun March 2014 NR3 on his YouTube channel. Thank you Crosswind. Now I should point out that when we look at the moon through a telescope such as Crow's, we are looking at a field of view of approximately half of one degree. Here is the equivalent field of view using one of Crosswind's videos. As you can see, it would be very easy to miss a plane that was flying next to the moon but not quite in the field of view of the camera. Crow uses a protractor to show the angle of the lunar wave in its videos. But just how big is the disk of the moon when we look at it in the sky? As we can see from my own Super Moonrise time lapse video from 2012, the moon looks huge in the sky, especially when it is low to the horizon. But this is just an optical illusion. Just how big is the moon if we measure its angular size? Let's take Crow's protractor and take a look. The angular size of the moon is approximately 30 arc minutes, or half of one degree. So here is a protractor spanning 180 degrees, and if you're familiar with your angles, 90 degrees is straight up, and 45 degrees is halfway up in the sky. So how big would the moon be? That's right, only half of one degree, or 30 arc minutes. In fact, the moon can be viewed through a standard 8-inch drinking straw with room to spare. Don't take my word, give it a try sometime. So with the moon being such a tiny little spot in the sky, is it really surprising that a plane could fly by the moon and leave a wake causing a lunar wave yet not be seen in the video? Well that's exactly what happened to Astronomy Live when he was filming the moon just a couple of days ago. Watch the top right hand corner as he's talking. Mark at an increased frequency. 
so I offered to observe the moon with him live. Uh, I could provide my view of the moon here, and he could provide his moon, his view of the moon. I believe he's in California, and we can observe it simultaneously from opposite sides of the country. So, if we see a distortion, well, there's one now. And sure enough, a plane just flew by the moon. Oh, oh, how's that for timing? Speak of the devil. Here is a zoomed up replay of the distortion that Astronomy Live saw when that plane flew past the moon. While it's true that this example is not as clear and sharp as Crow's lunar wave, it just goes to show that a plane can fly past the moon and leave a wake without the plane being seen in the video, just as we see in Astronomy Live's video. Now let's revisit the point that some people are making that there are often two lunar waves visible in each example of Crow's videos. What could possibly account for this? Well, of course, as we see in this video by Flugsnug, called Wave Vortex Variety, aircraft create wingtip vortices that are only visible under certain conditions, such as high humidity and rain. Here are some short clips from Flugsnug's video. Obviously, air currents could cause these wingtip vortices to pass over in front of the moon as the plane passed by. Look at the lensing effect and refraction that is caused by these vortices in the background scenery as the plane comes down. You can clearly see the distortion that is caused by the wake. Here is another clip from Flugsnug's video. Look at all that distortion we can see in the background. This is exactly the sort of distortion that would cause an apparent lunar wave. Just like what we see in this video. And just like the very clear so-called lunar wave that we see in this video. And as I pointed out in my previous video, Crow 777 does in fact live near the very busy San Diego International Airport. And I'm told by others that there are actually several other airports in this area. Now I'm not suggesting that all apparent lunar waves are caused by aircraft as we've seen here. I do believe that they're also caused by uh, other phenomena such as uh, passing warm and cold air masses and as I mentioned possibility of gravity waves or, or buoyancy waves as they're also known and I'll be following up on that research in another video but I did want to point out that uh, certainly an apparent lunar wave uh, can be caused by natural phenomena uh, such as aircraft passing uh, which is disturbing the atmosphere as we clearly see in these videos um, so I'm not going to jump to the con conclusion that um, an aircraft is causing a glitch in the moon hologram, uh, as some might, um, but it just gives us food for thought and I will be following up on this in another video. Please also check out the videos and the channel by Flugsnug. I'll put a link in the description area. Please stay tuned. I will be following up with more information and more videos on this and as always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.